In this video, we're going to create the staging objects. Let's start by creating the stage shape. We will use the rectangle and arc tools from the basic palette, as well as the clip surface, add surface, and compose commands from the modify menu. To start, make the active class none, create a new design layer called main event room, and make this the active design layer. Double click on the rectangle tool in the object dialog Set the width to 30 feet and the height to 8 feet. Choose the top center control point. Make sure position at next click is checked and click OK. Place your cursor over the top right corner of the upper left column and acquire a smart point. Now move your cursor over to the top left corner of the opposite column on the left wall and acquire a second smart point. Find the midpoint between these two points and click once to place the rectangle. This is the base shape for our stage. Now let's add a curve section in the center. Double click on the rectangle tool again. Set the width and height to six feet. Make sure the top center control point is set and the position and next click option is checked and click OK. Position your cursor over the bottom center point of the rectangle we just drew and click once to place the rectangle. Go ahead and zoom in on this rectangle. Activate the arc tool in the basic palette and choose the center mode in the toolbar. Click once on the center right point of the rectangle to set the start point of the arc. Click a second time on the center left point of the rectangle to set the end point of the arc. Now click once more at the center of the rectangle to set the arc center point and place the arc. Switch back to the selection tool and select both the arc and the rectangle. Right click on Windows or control click on Mac on the rectangle and choose Clip Surface. Select and delete the clipped polylines. Now select the remaining portion of the rectangle and the arc. Go to Modify, Compose. Finally, select the composed polyline and the main rectangle and go to Modify, Add Surface. Now we're going to convert the base polyline into stage and deck plug objects using the Create Stage command in the Event Design menu. With the polyline selected, go to Event Design and choose Create Stage. In the Create Stage dialog, set the stage height to 2 feet Set the standard stage deck width to 8 feet. Set the standard stage deck depth to 6 feet. For the object class, choose New from the pop-up menu and name the class Stage. Click OK. The polyline will be converted into five stage decks and one stage plug. Now let's adjust some structural settings for the stage. Switch to a right isometric view and zoom in on the stage objects. Select the center curved stage plug. In the object info palette, click on the structure pop-up menu and choose legs basic. Under leg details, click on the profile pop-up menu, choose octagonal. Next, select the five rectangular stage deck objects in the Object Info Palette, set the structure to Folding. Then, under Leg Structure Details, choose Octagonal again. Now that we have the stage, let's add some steps. We're going to use the Stage Steps tool from the Spotlight toolset in the Toolsets Palette. Switch back to a Top Plan view. In the Spotlight toolset, activate the Stage Steps tool. Move your cursor over the bottom left corner of the stage and acquire a smart point. Move your cursor up along the left edge of the stage until the end point smart cursor queue appears and acquire another smart point. Now find the midpoint between these two smart points and click once to set the insertion point for the steps. Move your cursor down vertically and click a second time to set the rotation and place the stage steps. In the Stage Steps Object Properties dialog, set the following parameters. 
Stage height to two feet. Stage unit width to four feet. Stringer length to six feet. Stringer width to one and a half inches. Number of steps to four. Step thickness to one inch. And single step depth to one foot six inches. Click OK. With the stage steps still selected, activate the mirror tool in the basic palette. Make sure the duplicate mode is active. Click once on the center of the stage and move the cursor vertically. Click a second time to duplicate and mirror the steps to the other side of the stage. Next, we're going to apply a fill color to our stage and steps using the attributes palette. Select all of the stage decks, the stage plug, and the stage steps. In the attributes palette, click on the fill color box at the bottom of the color palette set. Choose standard Vectorworks colors. Then select a tan color for the stage objects. Finally, we're going to apply a texture to the stage deck surface. Applying textures requires renderworks. If you do not have renderworks, you can move on to the next chapter now. Switch to a right isometric view and render in OpenGL. Use the flyover tool to rotate the view until the entire stage is visible. Select the five stage objects. In the Object Info Palette, scroll down and click 3D Options. Under Deck, choose Custom Texture from the top color pop-up menu. Select the Floor Airway Wood Flooring 014 Pine RT Texture and click OK. Repeat this process for the Stage Plug and the two Stage Steps objects. Once you're finished, switch back to a top plan view. 